Hello? Forget about the delivery this afternoon. I've got it covered. I feel like I'm abandoning you. Don't worry, Mom. I can handle the nursery for a few days. It's spending the weekend with Sarah that I'm not so sure about. I don't want her staying here all alone. I know. So you're back on Sunday night? Well, it depends on what the doctors say. If Aunt Lisa's still in the hospital. Tell her to hurry up and heal. It's only a ruptured appendix. Well, maybe this would be good for you and Sarah. It'll give you a chance to talk. Are you kidding? Mom, she hates my guts. Oh, no, she doesn't. She's just confused and she's angry. That's all. And how am I supposed to feel? You better get going. You're gonna miss your plane. Okay. I'll call you tomorrow, okay? It's a little small for a Maserati. Is it a puppy? Just open it. Exactly what I wanted. How on earth did you know? Because I always get you a tie for your birthday. <laughs> True. So, what do you want to do today? I figured we could go stuff our faces with double chocolate layer cake and maybe go to the beach. Isn't that what we did on your birthday? Well, yeah. I figured the least I could do was return the favor. Thanks. But aren't you supposed to be working? Well, I'm supposed to be helping Jennifer at the stupid nursery. Well, maybe you better go then. We don't want her wondering where you are. It's none of her business. I mean, if she wants to make some big deal about where I've been, I'll just make something up. No, Sarah. You know how careful we need to be. If they find out I'm still around, they'll have the police on me in a second. But they're lying. I know that, and you know that. But we still have to convince the police. By the time they finished dragging us through the courts, we'd all be humiliated. They could even make you live in a foster home. No, you don't want that, do you? No, of course not. But Dad, you can't keep hiding from them forever like this. I mean, there must be something I can do. You are doing something, just believing in me. I don't know what I'd do without you. Now, you go on. I'll be all right. Sheena and I were heading down to Bellingham tomorrow. I thought you might like to come with us. No, I can't. I promised Jennifer I'd help her at the nursery this weekend. Well, tell her you got a better offer. Maybe some other time. <laughs> you know, if I didn't know better, I'd say it was love. Yeah, so what if I am? <laughs> oh, man. You, you, didn't, you didn't tell her that, I hope. Well, yeah, as a matter of fact. Man, you don't know anything about women, do you? You don't tell them that. I mean, you just, you just toasted yourself. Kirk, you are such a romantic, aren't you? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, um, uh, since your life is pretty much over now, uh, you won't be needing this truck this afternoon. Machine and I, we don't have any wheels. Uh-huh, and that's why you wanted me to come to Bellingham, right? No. 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 No, it had, uh, had something to do with our personal bond and friendship. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, you can pick it up the nursery round you. Thank you, pal. Hey, uh, well, maybe you shouldn't wash it. The dirt might be the only thing keeping it together. <laughs> hey, nice 
you to show up. I'm here, aren't I? Hey, you're supposed to be here two hours ago. Big whoop, so fire me, why don't you? Sarah, I can't change how you feel about me. God knows, I wish you would try to understand. Ever since Dad took off, Mom and I have been working our butts off trying to keep this place going. The very least you could do is help out a little. Since when do you care about anyone else? You don't even know what day it is today, do you? 14th, so what? So, it just happens to be Dad's birthday, not that you care. I mean, how do you think he feels sitting alone in some crappy little apartment? Hang on. Do you know where he's living? No, no, of course not. Sarah, is he still in town? Have you seen him? No! Tell me the truth. Leave me alone! You listen to me! I didn't make it up. It's all true. You can't trust him. You're a liar. What about Mom? Is she lying too? Why do you think Dad took off? Shut up! If it's a lie, then how come he's hiding from us? Shut up! Shut up! Hey, what's going on? If you want to know, ask her. She's the one who destroyed our family, accusing Dad of being some sort of pervert. What is she talking about? through with my therapist and I remembered I guess I've been blocking it out that son of a bitch I finally told my mom and that's when the whole thing blew up of course he denied everything he said that I was lying and I had to be making it up Sarah believes him Exactly. So now it's all my fault that poor sweet daddy has been driven out of the house. You could have told me. You didn't need to know. Oh, come on. You can't just make decisions like that. It's my life, Brian. Besides, how could I tell you? I mean, what if that meant that you would want anything to do with me? That's ridiculous. You didn't do anything wrong. You were just a little kid. See, you don't even want to touch me. No, that's not it. I, I just don't know what you want. I mean, I'm afraid to do the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I wish I could make this all go away. I gotta find Sarah. Maybe she's gone home. I'll come with you. No, somebody's gotta stay here. There's a delivery coming this afternoon. I'll call Kirk. Kirk? Yeah, sure. He helped me out at the Oasis once. Oh, Brian. Hey, Jen. I'm a part of this. Let me help you. You go on home. I'll meet you there. Helping Jennifer. I was. I was going to. Sweetheart, what's wrong? I think Jennifer knows. Knows what? That you're still in town. Did you tell her? I didn't tell her, Dad. She just figured it out. Didn't I tell you to be careful? Didn't I? I didn't tell her, Dad. I, I just said today was her birthday. She must have figured it out. She asked if I'd seen you, and I said no. So, uh, you know how to use the cash register? Then? No problem, man. It's just like the one in my sister's shop. Excellent. You know, I still don't see what the big deal is. I mean, so Jennifer and her sister got in a scrap. Y yeah, I don't know what it's all about either. But, uh, Sarah took off and we don't know where she is. Well, <laughs> why don't you just go down to 7-Eleven and tape her picture to a milk cart or something? Kirk, come on. Brian, just get out of here. Okay, thanks. I owe you guys big. No problem. Huge. <laughs> Well, of course, we could always just uh, lock it up. See if they got any bedding plants in the back. Huh? Hmm? Why don't you uh, go give these seedlings a cold shower? Well, you could always do that, too. So why 
are you going all the way to Alberta? Can't you just get a job here? It's not as simple as that, sweetheart. This friend of mine has his own company. It's a good job, a good opportunity. Besides, I need to work. So how come you're leaving now? I need to get away for a little while. A few months anyway. Let my head clear. Let things settle down a bit. I wasn't planning to leave just yet, but since this has happened... I'm coming with you then. Oh, I wish you could, but we both know that's impossible. I don't want to be around Jennifer. Honey, listen to me. I know it's not easy, but you've got to try and get along. Jen's still your sister, no matter what she's saying about me. So I need you to promise me you'll try your best, all right? Dad, she is lying, isn't she? How can you say that? Then why don't you talk to her? Ask her, find out why. I can't, Sarah. She'd go straight to the police. What if she didn't? We can't be sure what Jennifer will do, can we? Maybe she thinks she is telling the truth. These memories aren't real, but she believes they are. I possibly say to her. You understand that, don't you? I think you should talk to her. Oh, just go deal with that, will you, Kirk? Hey, you work here? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Sign this. Where do you want it? Uh, I don't know, anywhere. You got it. So I'm working late shift on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that gives you Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. You think I'm going to work the late shift on a Saturday night? <laughs> Forget it. Hey, I don't make up the schedule. Al does. Complain to him. Oh, what a good that'll do me. Listen, three cakes. If you don't like it, you can play on another team. Guess what it is? <laughs> What's with him? Is he for real? <laughs> Define real. As far as I know, Al's the last in a species known as Jockus Goofus. <laughs> A primitive animal that lives on red meat, light beer, and hair mousse. <laughs> so, how did he get to be boss? Oh, I don't know. One of life's little mysteries, I suppose. <laughs> What's this? Al never told me about this. What? They're looking for a new assistant for the youth programs coordinator. No way. He didn't bring that up at staff meeting on Monday. I guess it must have just come up. Well, this is a great job. Regular hours, more money. Your own parking spot. <laughs> Working one-on-one -on -one with the kids. I'd be perfect for this. You? What about me? Well, why not? I mean, I, I work hard. I like working with kids. <laughs> OK, go ahead and apply then. No skin off my nose. <laughs> OK, now what exactly are we looking for? Anything. I, mean, I know she keeps a diary. She might have written something down, like a phone number or an address. Or... <sighs> it makes me sick to my stomach. Sarah's probably with it right now. Well, you don't think that he... No, I don't. If he would have touched her, I, I would know about it. Okay, look, why don't we just call the cops, hmm? I can't do that. <clears throat> why not? The guy's a criminal. I know, but if we call the police, there'll be an investigation, and I'd have to testify against him in court, and I'd have to stand there and tell everyone what he did, and I... I couldn't face that, Brian. Okay, all right. Sorry. Besides, I don't want him in jail. I just want him out of my life. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Sarah, tell me where Dad is. He wants to see you, but only if you promise to go alone. Oh, no way, I'm coming with you. No, it's okay. All right, I promise. Now tell me where he is. could grab a shovel and give me a hand if you really wanted to. But that's the whole thing. I don't really want to. She knows. Hey, man, I'm not the one who told the guy to dump it there. Well, so I made a mistake. You know what they say, we all must suffer in order to grow wise. <laughs> I don't need this crap.
started to think that you weren't coming. Kept your promise. Thank you. It's really good to see you. Am I allowed to say that? all day until Jennifer gets back well I don't want you here what right do you think you have poking your nose into my family it's none of your business you're right it isn't but right now Jennifer needs me so you're just gonna have to get used to me hanging around you actually believe her don't you yes I do she just hates him that's why she made all this up. She wants to get back at him. Get back at him for what? She is the one who is lying. My dad went to meet her today. That proves it. If he was lying, why would he go? Not inside his head, Sarah. Maybe he just wants a chance to say he's sorry. No, no, you're wrong. He is going to make her admit that she's lying. Sarah, I know this is hard for you. But you know Jennifer's telling the truth. And your dad knows it too. Sarah! Sarah! You can't run away from this. My dad wouldn't have lied to me. He couldn't have done what she said. I don't want it to be true. Nobody does. But pretending it never happened won't make it all go away. Jennifer's gonna hate me now. <laughs> no, she isn't. We both know her better than that. Just like Ginger, remember? I do. She was a great pup, wasn't she? Never forget that time at picnic. Four of us were up at Belcara, a whole barbecue chicken sitting on the picnic table. Don't do this. I'm trying to make us pretend. I'm just trying to make us remember how much we've shared. I remember everything. Are you going to tell me that it never happened? Jennifer. False memory syndrome. I'm sure that you read about it too, so go ahead and try and say that's all it is. My therapist screwed up. She asked me the wrong questions, and I invented these memories out of thin air. Now I think they're real. No. I can't say that. Because it happened. Yeah. It happened. You came up the stairs to my room. And I heard your footsteps, one after the other. I closed my eyes and I tried to make it disappear. And then the door creaking open. And I could feel you coming over to the bed. Yes, it happened. But not the way you think. I mean, I didn't hurt you. How could you say that? You're my daughter. I couldn't hurt you. I've always loved you. Don't you understand? I'll never be the same because of what you did to me. What about what this has done to me? I've lost my family. Everyone I ever cared about. I'm haunting what's left of my life like some sort of goddamn ghost. And you're gonna stand there and tell me you're the only one who's suffering? dare you ask me for pity? Just begging you to understand. You're my father. I would have trusted you with my life. You were supposed to be ten feet tall. When the world got too scary, you were supposed to protect me. And instead... Have you touched Sarah? Is that what you think? 
Just look at me and tell me the truth for once. I haven't touched her, Jen. I swear to God. I'm so sorry. What do you want me to do? I, I want you to get some help. And I want you to go away. Stay out of our lives. Does this mean forever? to give my love to Sarah and your mom. Just take care, sweetheart. You just take care.